an Afghan child who has been in Qatar's care since 2021, is finally reunited with her family. Qatar launches a criminal case over the death of a migrant worker. Hotel Rwanda's hero arrives in Doha after his release from prison. And finally, FIFA and UEFA shake hands on a mega deal. Hi, it's Ali. This is The Roundup. Here are today's top stories. An Afghan child who was just two months old when her parents died in the deadly Kabul airport attacks in 2021 has been returned to her family by Qatar. Maryam Umran was safely evacuated from Afghanistan and placed in the care of Qatar's orphan care center, Dreema, after losing her parents. Now, Maryam has been reunited with her siblings and an uncle following DNA testing. For more on the touching story, head over to our website. Now, Salam Petroleum is in the headlines for the wrong reasons. The company is being investigated for the death of a Filipino migrant worker who died while working during the 2022 FIFA World Cup in Qatar. Qatari authorities have opened criminal proceedings against Salam Petroleum after the worker, named only as Alexander, fell to his death when fixing a set of lights at Sea Line Beach Resort. Just days earlier, the resort hosted the Saudi national team before it was knocked out of the tournament. The case was initially probed by the public prosecution but has now been referred to the criminal court. Now, Rwanda opposition figure Paul Rusisabagina whose 25-year jail term was commuted by Rwandan President Paul Kagame has arrived in Doha three days after his release from prison. The 68-year-old is set to undergo medical tests in Qatar before flying to the United States. He spent 938 days in jail before his release was made possible after Qatar mediated between the US government and Rwanda. And finally, FIFA and UEFA have come to a mega agreement that will compensate football clubs with a 70% increase in monetary benefits in exchange for release players for upcoming international tournaments. The new MOU was signed by FIFA and UEFA with PSG president and ECA chair Nasr al-Khalifi at the center of it all. As part of the club benefits program, clubs will receive $355 million, a share of revenue generated by national team competitions, and protection should players get injured on international duty. For the entire report, head over to our website. Thank you for joining us. For more of our stories, head over to our website www.dohanews.co.